morning, 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 everybody, and welcome back to another video. So today's brand I'll be trying out is called Fat in the Moon, which is so, so exciting. They are a natural makeup and skincare brand. So a little bit about the brand, I'll kind of sum it up for you, is that they believe healing is reflected in the way we choose to do business, in the right relationship with people and plants. So they work with plants that are abundant, ethically harvested, ethically harvested, and organically cultivated and combine them in formulations that are radically non-toxic. Our priority is to use reusable, recyclable containers and to minimize superfluous packaging. Superfluous packaging, I think that's how you say it. So they support self-care and self-love, that's why they love to put healing into their products per se, so that it's encouraging your body to be at its best state. That's why their like core value is healing. And I really love that they ask like, environmentally friendly, natural, and good for your skin. Their brand seems amazing. I've been following them on Instagram for a while, which I will leave the Instagram here. And I'll also leave it linked down below for you to click on. It's not gonna be a full face, but there is different elements to the face that I'll do. So like, I think there's a primer, eyeshadows, there's a glow balm, and some lip products. So I'll be trying those out for you guys today. Mm. Let's get to it. So they've given me a heap of these products here. Some of these are lip balm, like lip paint things. How cute is the packaging? It says, get it, got it, and then it says, oh dang. <laughs> How cute is that? So on the back, it'll describe to you a little bit about the product. So I might go through each step of the face and do that that way instead of just telling you all the products at the beginning. So they've given me a primer. So it says here on the packaging, the earth's surface and our skin surface are the grounds for a multi-dimensional array of spectacular and creative possibilities. With all that potential, it's nice to know we have a solid ground beneath us. How beautiful. Oh, I love that they have little kind of mindful quotes or things like that along with their packaging. Like it's definitely a different element that I've seen to any other packaging on any other product. Oh, uh, and it tells you how to use it um, on the lid of the product here. So on the lid, it says, The ritual, intentionally apply a small dab to the center of each cheek, the chin, the tip of the nose, and between the brow. Then gently massage in, leave it at that, and receive our primer's smoothing and sun-protecting benefits. Or add your other adornment to solid ground. I guess that means like add your other products on top. So the packaging of the actual primer itself has like a tin kind of lid. Has the brand logo on the like front of it per se, like the brand name, and then it tells you what it is. And then it has like just earth's surface, which I guess it means your skin. Oh, it's cute. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh my lord. It smells almost like, like springtime. It, it reminds me of like a springtime smell. Oh, it's so delicious. And it's not overpowering. It's very subtle and soft. This is the primer on the inside. It's like a cream, a balmy kind of feel almost. And it's very moisturizing, which is nice. It has sun protecting properties in it too. I wouldn't use it as a sunscreen, basically. I, I don't think it's got like sunscreen protective properties. It's probably just a little protective against sun UV rays and stuff like that. But it does feel good. It doesn't really feel too like moisturizing per se. But in saying that, it does feel hydrating. It feels good on the skin. I can feel it, but it's not uncomfortable. It's like, how do I even describe it? It's like it dries. It's like a moisturizer cream, but then it dries. But it still feels hydrating. I wish I could describe that more, but that's the best I can do. It has all the ingredients on the bottom as well. Oh, but my face literally smells so good. It must be that geranium, that rose geranium smell. It just smells so good. So it actually looks like they've given me two highlighters. One is called Lit and one is called Beam. I don't know if they're cream highlighters or powder highlighters yet. So I'm just going to take a little look see at them and see if they're powder. Then I'll do my base makeup and everything. However, if they're cream, which I think they are, by the looks of it, yeah, I will do them. I'll do them. <laughs> I will apply them first before I apply everything else. This one here is Beam. This one here is lit. It has those tin kind of lids to it as well. So let me just warm up the product on my finger. You can see that. It's really cute as even like a creamy blush, like a highlighty blush. I'm just applying that to my cheekbones. 
does give a subtle like pinky glow and then here is beam so let me just warm that up on my finger it's always good to warm up cream products on your fingers first to kind of melt the product a little bit oh yeah that's a little bit more so of like a glow I would say but I kind of thought that because it's lighter oh that's so cute I love that even for like if I wanted to wear one of those like no makeup days like if I was like oh I just want a bit of a glow I'd 100% apply this to my cheekbones my nose all that good stuff and walk out the door and call it a day maybe a bit of concealer to cover up these little bad boys but I love just looking glowy sometimes I don't want to have a full face of makeup on and this is what I would wear this beam highlight oh it's so pretty girl oh can we just take a moment oh I love this spot here, by the way, to highlight. Like, I don't know what it is, but when the light catches that brow bone spot, oh, I'm living. That is where I live right there. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta, of course, hit that Cupid's bow. Sorry, I'm, like, literally obsessed. Obsessed with this glow. Like, can we take a moment? Oh, my lord. Hallelujah. I'm just going to take some of that pinky lit one and just applying that to my cheeks because I just want to. I mean, I'm going to apply it again over top but Isn't that a gorgeous pinky tone? Honey, I'm living for cream products of late, especially during like winter, autumn and winter where my skin's a lot drier. Cream products are my jam. This one, my jam. So it gives a little bit of colour as well as a little bit of a glow. Okay. Now that I'm like an iridescent queen, I'm going to apply my base makeup and my brows. And I'll come back and continue this first impressions kind of thing. Okay guys, so I'm back. Uh, and I've just done my brows, as you guys can see, and then my foundation. Can you still see that beam, like, popping through? Like, that glow to my skin is insane. And I actually think that primer's really worked. Because, honestly, there are no forehead lines like do you do you see that like of course when I do this there's gonna be some but usually that is like my trouble spot I always get like the products and stuff sinking through and the only different thing is that primer like swear god that is so smooth <laughs> I'm loving life I just used a bit of powder and stuff under my eyes um, I went in with my airborne foundation and then some raw pressed powder like I said and then obviously my Maybelline brow powder the use, but I might go in and just apply some more of these like the lit to my cheeks first is like a blush like a little cream blush and a bit of color I will go in with like a bronzer afterwards but I didn't get given a bronzer so I will do that off camera and just apply oh, that is such a beautiful like even bronzy I could, if I was really bronzed like in summer, I could even use this as like a bronzy glow. So any of you dark skin girls, this would be amazing for a highlight because it's actually quite like like a coppery tone. Just a little bit of colour, but such a beautiful bronze kind of glow. Ah, it's gorgeous. And then just taking a little bit of beam again on my finger. And I'm just applying that to my cheeks and basically just everywhere. I want to be super glowy today. Now, 100%. That primer is definitely smoothing because you can like you can't even see my pores. Like this glow doesn't even accentuate like pores or anything. But that primer definitely smooths. Like wow, I didn't even think it really anything much of it at the beginning. I just liked the smell of it, and it was nice. You know, felt nice on the skin. But holy moly, it actually works really well. <laughs> Um, and also, side note, my foundation applied really smoothly over that glow and the primer. I was worried it would, like, slide around a little bit in case, like, you know, it was, like, an oily base. Like, if these are made of oils and stuff. But it didn't. It's clung to my skin really well. It's not patchy. It didn't slide. So that is good. Okay, now that we've appreciated the true glow power of those beam and lit products, I'm going to go and quickly apply some bronzer so i'm just gonna go in with my zooey bronzing powder and then we can move on and do the eyes <laughs> wow so i'm gonna move on with the eyes i've already primed my lids with some mac soft ochre paint pot so we can just move on with the eyeshadows themselves and i do have a few which i can try out which i'm super excited so i've been lucky enough to be gifted with 
three different eye coals and I've gotten four lip paints which I'll try afterwards. So one of the eye coals is um, called Lapis. Another one is Coal which I'm just assuming is like a black eyeshadow. And then the third one is Earth which is a beautiful like earthy brown tone. I'll read out the description on the back. So the Earth description is earthy, natural and neutral like the soil ready for planting. For lining lids or brows or for creating depth by smudging a little at the edge of the eye where like the earth goddess you are so it's not really like a shadow it's actually like a cream texture which is interesting which makes me think i might even use like because i've got four like lip paints there i have my eye on one that i'd actually like to use on the eyes so we might do that so here we have the lapis um eye coal and this one is color inspired by cleopatra herself let the powers of the sea and sky flow, flow through your gaze. Apply as a liner, smudge like a shadow, or dab on your waterline with just the right amount of electric blue impact. Oh, I'm intrigued. And then here we have coal. So I'm guessing this is just a black eyeshadow. Inspired by miniature painting teacher in India who mixed charcoal from burned puja and ghee to adorn his eyes for the spectrum of eye adornment from soft and smoky to refined and lined wear and be aligned with the mysterious oh i love that so here i was like looking at this lip paint here i don't know if i will use it on the eyes but we'll see i'll read it out to you as well this is the clay idol shade i think rather than an ethereal god or goddess a clay idol is the formation of earth into a focal point for worship so don't be surprised if you attract a little worship when you rock it. A subtle and earthy orange with just the right amount of against the grain. I'm going to take this lip paint in the shade Clay Idol. So the one I just showed you. I'm just going to apply that with my finger all over my lid. I do love creams um, for like an eye base. But like for an eyeshadow look I would prefer like actual eyeshadows. So I'm going to take Earth. And actually on like a crease brush, I'm just going to apply that to the outer part of my eye. It's a little bit patchier on this eye. I might even try and just use my finger and try and deepen that up. But it is a little bit patchy. I wonder how they'll wear during the day. Just because they are creams, like I said, I wonder if it'll settle into my creases and stuff. Like, just, you know, from blinking and stuff that can tend to happen. Like, it doesn't feel like it'll stay. Like, I feel like it'll fade. It won't really stay all day. So, next I'm going in with coal on a little Egg Show eyeliner brush. Oh, wow, that's so pigmented. Woo! Oh, I love this. Oh, my God, this is, like, smoother than an eyeliner. Holy crackers, I am obsessed with this. Wow. That was so smooth to apply. Oh my god, I might even just use them all as eyeliners. Honestly, that is so good. This is so pigmented, this eyeliner. It's insane. I love it. I, I was so taken aback. I did not expect this to be as creamy and as pigmented. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to take lapis and I'm going to apply this to my waterline, I think. Just with that eyeliner brush, but I've made sure to wipe off all the black. This colour would be so stunning in like blue eyes. Oh, I love blue liner on blue eyes. I honestly wish I had blue eyes just so I could always wear blue liner in my waterline. And it just makes them pop so much. I honestly use these shadows more as like cream bases or like, like I'm doing now for like eyeliner or my waterline or something like that. Because they'd be beautiful colours. But, like, I wouldn't just use them like this for just an eyeshadow look. Like, see how they're already, like, fading and creasing and, like, getting stuck in my crease? And, like, even that black's transferring. Like, it needs to be set. Even though it's, like, a first impressions of, like, fat and the moon, I will go in with some eyeshadows just because there's no point really wearing this as an all-day thing. Like, they're just transferring. I'm just going to go over that black eyeliner with some black eyeshadow just to set it. Like, honestly, it is so pigmented, but it's so creamy, it's just going to move. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of earth along my bottom, like, lash line area on, like, a little smudge brush from Morphe. 
And then I'm going to take my Caramel Melange palette. I am going to actually use an eyeshadow to blend this out. I'm using Finish Sensuals. I'm actually going to highlight my inner corner with some of my Folklore Superstar Highlighter Palette. I'm also applying that to my brow bone too, just to intensify that highlight there. Okay, so I've just quickly applied some lashes over top. These are the Icona lashes in the style Make Him Miss Me. I'm not really the happiest with this eye look. Like, I knew I should have applied eyeshadows on top because it's just transferring. It's not sitting smoothly. Like, it's just not gripping to my lids it's faded except for that liner but i did set that with an like eyeshadow so like just a little thought guys like they're good in conjunction with an eyeshadow i wouldn't use these eye bases or these eye kind of cream products by themselves like even in my waterline it's faded like you need to set them i think they work better being set not by themselves like that beam highlight though like all of those highlights and face products were good Eye ones, not the biggest fan right now. I'm thinking I should have just done like a deep black smoky eye. Like that would have looked better. But this look is what it is. Let's move on to the lips. I might just do one today for you guys and then I can try them another day with a different look. Um, I'm really loving Dusk. I think that pinky tone looks really cute. I mean, I don't know what it looks like in the box, but I'm guessing it's this tone. They also have Mortar and Pestle. Which is more of like a reddish tone than like a shimmery crimsony red called Z Zlata Zlata Baba. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, sorry. So Dusk is inspired by that hazy pinkish lavender that only shows itself in the sky during liminal times. Dusk feels like a mellowed and well-traveled 70s bombshell. This colour is very matte. You may also use a bit on your sweet cheeks for a blushing effect. Cute. And I'm taking my lip brush from Eek Show. I won't use a lip liner for the purpose of actually like trying this lip colour out. But usually I'd go in with a lip liner. It's almost like a My Lips but better kind of colour. And that my friends is the finished look. So final thoughts. Loved the primer, loved the glows, like the glow balms, the lit and the beam, especially the beam. Uh, I don't love the eyeshadows. I'm, um, well, the eye coals, sorry. I just, look, they just have not, they have not sat nicely on the eyes. But in saying that they would be nice in conjunction with an eyeshadow, like say I used that orange as a base and then I went over top with eyeshadows. Even that earthy tone is beautiful as a base. I don't like it by itself, like they just don't sit on the skin because there's nothing to adhere to, they're too uh, balmy, like they're not going to stick, whereas an eyeshadow would help them stick a lot better and just show up a lot more pigmented. They do blend very nicely though. Even in the waterline, that electric blue is beautiful, but it just needs to be set with an eyeshadow. It's just not holding by itself. And I do love that lip balm too. It feels really nice on the skin on the lips sorry and it's moisturizing it's not even though it's like meant to be more matte it still feels really nice it doesn't feel drying or it's going to crack my skin it feels really moisturizing and nourishing which i prefer i don't like that dry matte feel on the lips I just i don't like that too much but yeah what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the description box down below if you do try out their products please let me know i always love to hear what your thoughts are and also tag me in any recreations I would love to see. Otherwise, have an awesome day. I love you all so much. And I'll see you very, very soon. Mwah. Bye.